Hi everyone, Dr. Mike here. You probably know somebody with Parkinson's disease, and if you do, you probably know that they have a resting tremor, maybe postural instability, maybe a shuffling gait, very slow to move. These are the cardinal signs of Parkinson's disease. It's the second most common neurodegenerative disorder. That means neurons dying off in the brain. It's second to Alzheimer's, and it's the most common movement disorder. But what's actually happening in the brain? Let's take a quick look. If I were to take the brain that we've got right here, and we're to cut it down the middle and then throw off the front and look into the brain, deep into the brain you're going to find an area called the basal ganglia, also called the basal nuclei. This is very important for motor movement. Now what I've drawn up here is a schematic of the basal nuclei. Don't stress out. I'll tell you what they're called and then I'll tell you what happens for Parkinson's. First you've got the two thalami. This is the thalamus, this is the gateway to the brain. It lets signals in and out of the brain. Very important. You've got the globus pallidus, you've got the striatum, you've got the subthalamic nuclei, and you have the substantia nigra, very important for Parkinson's disease. Now, let's talk about what happens in an individual, such as you or I, who want to move. Let's say we want to move our leg to walk. Well, what happens is we must send a signal from our motor cortex. This is the one to two millimeter most external part of our brain. We need to send a signal from our motor cortex to the striatum. The striatum then sends this signal to the globus pallidus interna, which then sends the signal to the thalamus and asks the thalamus, hey, you're the gatekeeper, is it okay to move our leg? The thalamus then gives us the thumbs up and says, yep, all good, sends it back to the motor cortex and says, I've checked it out, it's okay, it's a good time to move your leg, all right? So this is a direct positive pathway, let's move our leg. At the exact same time, however, the motor cortex is sending a signal out to the striatum about, can I move my leg? It sends it to the globus pallidus externa, can I move my leg? Which then sends it down to the subthalamic nuclei. Now what the subthalamic nuclei decide is, no, I don't want you to move your leg. So it sends an inhibitory signal back to that direct pathway. So what we now have are two pathways that converge. One that says, yes, move your leg. That's the direct pathway. Then you've got one that says, no, do not move your leg. That's the indirect pathway. So what happens? Do we move our leg or do we not move our leg? Well, this is where dopamine comes into play. Dopamine is extremely important when it comes to nice fluid movements and is the neurotransmitter that's involved in Parkinson's disease. It is primarily produced here in the substantia nigra. And so what the substantia nigra does is it sends out some neurons to have a chat up here. One chats to the direct pathway, one chats to the indirect pathway, and they both release dopamine. Now, what happens here is this. With the direct pathway, which says, can I move my leg? Yes, I can. Dopamine reinforces that and says, yeah, come on, keep moving your leg, keep moving your leg. In the indirect pathway, where it said, can I move my leg? No, you cannot. So this pathway is saying, stop moving. Dopamine inhibits it. So basically, it's stopping a pathway that's already saying stop. That means it's saying, go, it's okay to move. It's inhibiting an inhibitory pathway. So what that actually means is, in both direct and indirect pathways, dopamine is saying, yes, let's move. What that now means is somebody can move their leg in a nice fluid movement. There's no stopping or starting that's happening unconsciously. So if we were to not have any dopamine, well, what that means is, we have a signal going, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, and somebody has a resting tremor, a shuffling gait. It's very hard for them to begin their movement. So what is the therapy for Parkinson's disease, the gold standard? It's a dopamine therapy called levodopa. Hopefully this helps you in understanding what's happening in the brain for Parkinson's disease.